Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you for joining me for this video. Um, it's a little bit of a different one. Not a different one, really. Like, I've missed my vlogs, and I know you guys have too. I had, like, such a good, overwhelming amount of feedback from you guys about my vlogs. And I just thought I'm going to bring them back. So I wanted to start off. I was going to do, like, a skincare one, but I wanted to do a little bit of makeup because I'm doing, like, a little Instagram photo thing later on. It's probably going to flop, but, you know, like why not get the extra added content so yeah i thought have a little sit down with me i've brought a little cup of tea we have a little chit chat this might be a long one it might not be you're gonna get all the updates all the little tea all the little gossip even though there's none in my life but there is but there's not but there is but there isn't but yeah stick around grab a little cup of tea have a little chit chat like comment in the comment section i'd love to have a little you know like every time yeah anyways let's get into it i just wanted to do like a very basic everyday makeup thing even though it's like currently four o'clock it's pitch black outside it feels like it's like one in the morning um yeah i am so fuming with the planet earth right now <laughs> like every time i wake up i'm like okay cool i'm gonna plan out my content i'm gonna get it filmed um get to the morning get it i'm getting up i've worked out sun goes down and it's like 11 a.m and i'm just like i'm just not here for it is anyone else like that right now where are you in the world what are you guys been up to how have you all been um everyone comes to my eye bags now if you've never had eye bags you're lying you're lying you've never woken up with puffy eyes like i generally feel that i have no sleep syndrome that has to be something like i just generally i or maybe just I sleep, but it just does my breath. I don't know. But for some reason, I can sleep for like 15 hours and these bags, oh, they're terrible. But you know what? It's me. I'm not... People tell me all the time, like, go and get under eye filler and or maybe you should try sleeping. And it's like... <laughs> like... <laughs> if I didn't sleep, would I be here right now? So, you know, just replying to them if you never had any worries in your life like are you just stress-free because surely with everything going on right now you are stress-free so yeah we have here two of my favorite brow products currently and um, we have here the revolution brow soap which you need i've put so many people on this or well, i haven't personally but other people have what am i talking about you see how i'm losing train of thought just get used to it um and then we have here the sleep nano disc now i don't see a lot of people talking about this and it's phenomenal especially if you're like me and i don't want too harsh of a brow um especially i like my more fluffy feathery brows but i don't want them to be too harsh but i get quite a few sparse areas this is perfect it is so great you can sort of like you can make you can intensify it if you want to so i'm just going to go quickly into my brows um i just like to use like a little spoolie you can wet the product i've actually used to do that loads but i actually find now if i don't wet the product as you can see it's well loved if you don't wet the product and you just put it on usually like it does the same thing but i tend to find initially because the product was quite dry at the top um that i had to use a thingy but yeah anyways i have been okay covid has actually not been too much of a bother a lot of things have changed in my life like i'm no longer with my ex-partner um a lot of these things i didn't think i was going to say on camera but you know we might as well excuse how my brows are going to look for a second we're just going to like brush them up my brows are doing so well lately like, i'm so proud of them um as if they're alive but yeah, I have, like, I don't really know what to say, really. Like, I've just, just been constantly working. Like, I'm trying to find that balance of just taking me time. But I can't. It's difficult. Like, I know people say you can. Like, I generally can't. Like, my living room, sorry, my bedroom, literally right next to my setup, which is behind me, is my bed. And I have a TV. I literally had to sacrifice, like, having little lovely ornaments and things. I know it's not a big deal, but it's like those things, you don't realise how much they actually impact your life until they're gone. Now, that's why I've tried to, like, implement, like, flowers, candles, whatnot. Um, but, yeah, like, people don't really tell you the behind-the-scenes part of this job. Like, I am so, honestly, so super grateful for the job that I'm in. I love it. I love... Um, what's the word engaging with you guys getting building relationship with you but at the same time while i'm doing that it's incredibly lonely like my mum and my like my family they're all teachers so they're at work which i'm super grateful for because i don't know how i would honestly live if they were living at home like couldn't do it i generally couldn't do it. i like my own personal space but at the same time like i have my dog but at the same time it's like i need that separation from work like i generally need that like 
I know other friends of mine that are in the same job as me and they've got their own places and they have like a two bedroom place so they've got their bedroom and then they've got their work room which I feel as if what I need like if I had this like my workspace in my brother's room I'd be fine but obviously right now circumstances I can't so it's difficult but I'm not like every day going oh I need to do this I need to do that like I'm okay with it right now but it, it does affect my mental health every now and then I'm just trying different strategies to avoid making it a long-term problem um but yeah like I think this year has made me really understand that mental health is a real thing like I never really said to myself that I wasn't going to be that person that struggled but I never said that to myself but it, it happens like you don't think it would affect you and then you're put in situations like what I, I know it's going to sound like such a, a negative thing but it's I'm trying to say it in a positive way like this is the one circumstance where every single human being that has been affected by COVID I don't mean you have to have it I mean like being affected with like in the UK and whatnot it's like the one thing we can all have in common we've all been affected by it in one way or another like we can all relate to each other with this scenario now that doesn't come by a lot because a lot of people go through different scenarios in their life and they go through different situations but um I have found that this is the one situation where we are all as one. We've all suffered. We've all gone through things, whether it's big or small. So yeah, this is like a, it's a real, real mind boggle really. But um, I'm all right. I've just, just things that I didn't think would happen have happened. And I sort of just have to deal with it, which I'm dealing with. I didn't think I'd be in the situation that I'm in, but in a good way. Um, I've learned so much. I'm learning more about myself this year, so that's a really, really positive thing. To browse, I knew I was going to be talking loads with this, but yeah, this is what the nano thing comes like. It literally just comes like this, and it's like a little nano roller. Now, you don't have to use all the product on it. It literally just comes with a little bit of, like, what do you call it, product. And what I do is I just roll it through the brow hairs as so. It's such a nice, do you see how nice that is? So nice. And I go through the areas that are, like, sparse. And what I do is I never start in the inner corner yet because it tends to be quite intense when it first comes out but it's it's not too intense where it looks harsh and I just go for the areas that are a little bit sparse but I still want to keep the fluffy effect through my brows it tends to be at the bottom and then I take the residue that's on and I love this because you literally just roll rather than like flick so you roll this in the front of the brow I'm going to link all of the products and everything in the description so feel free to take a little like so like they might be affiliated because you know your girl's got to earn her money somehow um but yeah that's literally just how the brow looks and that is literally one brow done if i might go in afterwards and just make sure everything's intense if i'm looking around i'm just looking at different mirrors but yeah this is such a nice product um don't really see a, not, a lot of people talking about it. i think it's because it's not it's not a trendy product it's not something that a lot of people go towards but this is so good um, and of course sleek is affordable like more drugstore um but yeah so yeah those are the brows done they're very very simple a lot of you guys have been like going mad on my brows lately i personally don't know why but thank you and um, we're going to move on to base right now i haven't got any like primer or anything anything like that i'm going to be using one of my favorite sprays which is a setting spray but it's also like a three in one like this is a great primer i absolutely love this this makes every makeup look just look amazing and it lasts for ages as well which is really really nice because i know this stuff is like isn't, isn't cheap but we're just going to spray this on the face as so and i like to just let that sit for a minute it smells amazing but um yeah so what's new in my life i don't really know where to talk about i should have done questions but at the same time it's like i go on too much on questions so i waffle too much but um yeah what's been new in my life um single life is very interesting i haven't been like by myself since i was around 15 16 it's been like all of my teenage years of me been growing with someone so now i'm not i haven't had i haven't got that person it's um it's quite interesting actually um in a good and a bad way like it's learning to stand on my own two feet in a lot of ways in in a I don't know, does that make sense am i just probably doesn't make sense but it makes sense to me you know i've i've taken actually like this time especially the second lockdown like first lockdown i was really getting into working out and then it sort of like flattened um don't know how don't ask me how i have no excuse and then this time round, i said to myself you know what no i'm gonna really give working out a go a go i started because i, I need to start doing this makeup um i'm gonna go in with the the uh Barry M all night long full coverage concealer. This is amazing. I'm using the shade three cookie. It's incredible. I forgot I had it, but then I saw it in my drawer today and I was like, I need to use it before it goes off. And yeah, gonna get more of this. But um, I 
started working out and I wanted I started because I had no intention of getting anything out of it now I know that probably makes no sense but if I had a goal with it like I know people go all about goals sometimes but sometimes like I'm not gonna lie to you do goals not flatten you like I find like for example if I go oh my god I want to be this size by this time da 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 for me because of my mentality sometimes and I'm like the queen of procrastination it's not gonna happen so I just say to myself you know what like just do it for no reason and I've actually been loving it I don't know if that makes any sense I've really been loving it like I've just been I'm no, definitely noticing a difference health wise I've noticed a difference with where I'm working out and we're focusing on my legs glutes my abs and my arms like full body really but I'm over like I'm recognizing an overall like change in my health um obviously you guys don't know I suffer with a few disabilities and whatnot so I have a few things going on outside of like work in actual real life situations that I don't really talk about too much not for any particular reason and um, just because I don't like to them them to consume my life oh I want to get a new brush set I was gifted this oh I was gifted this brush set by Real Techniques which is the limited edition ready to dazzle set I think it's like a Christmas set comes in this cute little pouch um, and then you have all the brushes here so I want to use these um, to like blend in my concealer something i don't know but yeah i'm gonna go in with this actually this looks cute i've got a few of these some i think they're like remakes or just like remodels of their brushes but they just put them in different packaging so yeah we're gonna take the crease brush i already knew the name for this one um but yeah so i've been focusing on that and i have been like ages ago i bought like gym wear from like my protein they've been really great um and then I've been using like the Shein leggings that I've done in my haul. Love them. Great quality. And then I also ordered some like protein shake. Now I've been very funky about protein shakes because I know they can do to your kidneys and things like that. I'm one of those people that I'm just like, nope, staying away from them. Um, but I saw they're like the clear way isolate, um, which I think a lovely girl or, who also does the same job. Um, a another influencer I saw, Jasmine, she um, was, I think it's Jasmine she was using the isolate as well and she I think it was the peach shade i can't remember what shade um flavor and i was like i want to try this because it it wasn't the usual shake it was more like it, it it literally looks and tastes like like squash like if you've got robinson squash or something like that it literally tastes like juice and i tried it i got the cranberry and raspberry now i absolutely hate raspberry i don't know why but this stuff literally i've just finished it tastes amazing i drink it down in one i, dr I drank it down in one the first time because i was like oh my god there's no way like this is gonna taste nasty it smelt like cough sweets and i was like no i'm not here for this but it tastes really really lovely like i was really really impressed with it so i thought yep gonna be buying more on that i think it gives you like 20 servings and i think it was like 21 pounds it's sort of like a pound a serving it's okay because i was using before like this milkshake thingy from i got it from morrison's and it was like a make and it was lovely it was like a chocolate one but um it's expensive i think it was like two pound each and i was like i know that might not be expensive for some of you but for me i'm cheap so yeah i was just like and it was only like a small little car and i thought one a day like two pound fifty or something something like that anyway but um yeah i am really i know i look really really pale right now but yeah i just like to i've been using concealer a lot rather rather a lot a lot compared to like foundations these days i don't know why i just think my skin has just been preferring a more lighter weight consistency and yeah i've just been preferring it as well um but yeah i saw that they had a black friday sale on and i'm gonna purchase hopefully tonight if they still got the sale like the my protein sales i'm not gonna lie to you they're pretty decent um their clothes are a little tad expensive for me like i will never spend money on like gymshark and that just because it's gym leggings i'm happy to go to primark me personally i'm cheap cheap like that always am proud of it but um i saw they had this the, the the, 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 the shake and the drink thing on um sale and i also grabbed the pancakes i don't know why i haven't mentioned that already the pancakes are phenomenal i'm gonna get the maple ones i originally got the golden syrup um and then and my friend sam was like to me she wanted to get the gold the maple syrup ones i thought i'm gonna get them next but i i just i don't know why i got the golden ones but i got them and yeah we're here now but yeah they're really really nice cook really easily even though i burn every single pancake i make just me um but yeah i love how this concealer blends like i just want to do something really really simple and quick but obviously it's not going to seem quick because i'm here chatting to you guys i'm next going to go with my favorite powder again everything's going to be linked this is the revolution pro cc perfecting press powder it contains hyaluronic acid and antioxidants 
it contains yeah so it's honestly amazing i use the shade beige it's perfect it's literally a charlotte tilbury flawless fusion dupe in my personal opinion anyway um it's just amazing like i absolutely love it it's so good look at that like it adds extra coverage just makes your makeup look flawless um this just is just everything sometimes i find if i'm wearing like a really heavy concealer though i don't find like it holds that well underneath the under eyes like it might crease your concealer ever so slightly like or like your concealer might not be fully set but what i do for that is i go in with a sponge rather than a brush and i'll just take it like i'll smudge it in and then i'll just take it underneath the eyes as if i was baking but yeah um this powder is a godsend it's probably the best revolution product i think they've ever come out with personally like it feels like high end and it lasts um so yeah i'm gonna have to get more of this anyway but yeah moving on did any of you guys get anything on the black friday sale did any of you did you guys see the, the whole plt palava mate i i don't know what to feel about that really what's your opinion on that because i know a lot of people saying like how can you afford to put these things down to like eight pence what are you actually paying your workers like all of that stuff i just thought no like <sighs> this can't be real um but yeah i saw loads of people get quite a lot of stuff for their black friday thing i bought i was gonna say no to it like i said this i didn't buy anything last year i don't think and i said to myself i'm definitely not this year unless it's trainers and you girl did buy two trainers i don't regret it because i need to start treating myself because i literally don't ever spend money like i literally never spend money unless it's like food um but i bought a pair of Louise Goes trainers from Adidas. They're really nice. I'll put a picture and I'll put a link if you want to get them. I've never seen this colour before, but I saw it on another girl's Instagram. And I was like, where have you been? Why haven't you been in my life? And then I also bought a pair of Converse's. Now, I used to be a sucker for Converse's when I was younger. I know I look pale right now, but we'll work on it. I used to be an absolute lover of Converse's when I was little. Um, and then I saw these ones on ASOS and they're like Borg. Is it Borg? Is it Borg? Borg borg material on the converse and they were 45 pounds and i thought why not i am so excited for them to come and i also bought myself a pair of like skinny black jeans because i didn't have a pair of skinny jeans in my wardrobe bronze up we have here one of my favorites currently i don't know how i didn't get onto this sooner i have the lighter one but this one just hits differently this is the MUA Academy Bronze Perfection uh, Powder in the shade Golden Dunes. Duns? Dunes? Um, this is great. Definitely feels like a luxury. Like, it sort of reminds me of the Charlotte Tilbury one. This brush right here, everyone has been asking me about recently. Because this is a new one that I found. And this is the Iconic London brush. It comes in their set. But it's such a beautiful bronzer brush. If you just want that. I don't like to contour. But I just go over all of this quite pigmented so be careful and then i just like to either put it like rub the rest on my hand so it doesn't come off too harsh and then i just buff it in ever so slightly and you can just start to see how it warms up my cheek like i love this bronzer like i absolutely love it um yeah i have made sure that this video has just come to mind i have made sure in this video that we, i'm going to avoid talking about like algorithm and instagram and things like that just because every video like i feel as if every video i'm coming across these days i'm just seeing it and it's like i don't really want to talk about it like i'm not complaining um nothing's been going like bad or anything like that just yeah like it's just you know when you just want another place you know when you just want to watch something else rather than constantly talking about the same things but yeah like yeah does that make sense really really lovely bronzer i just I use it all the time now and same with this brush it's just one of those brushes that are just it just works it just works for me personally but yeah i don't know what to talk about now like how what do people do in these scenarios like what do i actually talk about um i'm hoping to like treat myself soon like i am not that type of person to be that excited about christmas like am i the only person like i am just not that excited this year i never have been with christmas see i don't look that pale right now um i've never had been with christmas personally um my birthday is eight days before christmas i believe so yeah i tend to look forward to my birthday a lot more than like christmas but yeah i think christmas is more of a kids thing isn't it um unless you have like kids in the family like currently in my household we're all adults so we don't have any children i do have nieces and nephews so they'll probably be excited and i'll be excited for them but for me personally no um but yeah let me know if you guys got anything off the black friday sale i said to myself like i said i wasn't getting anything but you know that was the chair i promise 
God, I really fancy a McDonald's. I don't know why. Maybe I'll treat myself tonight. Right. Here's another story for you. So, as obviously because of the job that I'm in, are you going to focus? You going to focus? You going to focus? There we go. Because of the job that I'm in, um, I'm self-employed. So that means obviously I've got to do my own taxes and whatnot. Now, I am probably like the most unintelligent person in that region and um, but my friend Samina if you're watching this you might not be but if you are thank you you're amazing like she was just helping me out and like I am like am I the only person that's literally like terrified of the whole tax idea and paying taxes like scares me like I envy those that are in jobs and they get it done for them because but I guess it's another life skill like if I go into another job and like are they like can are you able to like work accountant wise and management and money I can do it it's something else to learn in life like I'm just excited to understand and learn it but yeah like I've literally just I'm terrified of the whole idea of it really but um just another thing in life I suppose it's, it's like I said it's a thing you can learn but um I literally feel like I need to treat myself to a McDonald's this evening. I don't know why, like I literally just went to the bathroom and McDonald's popped into my head, so why not? So yeah, we're gonna move on to blush right now. But yeah, like I said, this bronze is really, really lovely. It's not too, too much, but you can obviously overdo it if you if you like that look. I personally don't. Um, Who else is like love for YouTube? Like watching YouTube videos is just like, faded am i the only person like i miss youtube videos back years ago like i generally do i don't know why like i just i don't know what it is like i've generally missed the og type of youtube videos or whatnot like maybe am i the only one or maybe just i don't know but yeah like i haven't been overly excited about watching youtube i remember i used to sit there each evening and literally watch loads of youtube videos but I haven't done it in ages and I did yesterday or the day before and I was like I miss this like I miss sitting down and watching people about their lives and I don't know what it is lately I just think because there's been so much toxicity the past year and a half and drama I was like I'm just not here for it I'm just not here for it we're gonna go with this blush one of my favorite of the brushes this is the XX Revolution Retro Blusher you guys need this I know it looks orange but when it goes onto the skin it's just everything like it's one of those really nice peachy blushes that i just think a lot of people try to not peachy like orangey brushes like coral brush brushes blushes that a lot of people stay away from and i'm just like but why but why a lot of these products i'm using here are my favorites just so you guys can see how i work with them and whatnot because i know i do my instagram tutorials but you don't actually see the in-depth process of me actually blending it in or where i'm actually placing the product and whatnot but that's just such a nice corally orange in my opinion I'm not really binge watching any no i have been i lied i've been binge watching like netflix as always like literally my life is netflix 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 like i binge watch netflix when i work um which is all day every day i have have literally finished the crown season four really enjoyed that probably my favorite season so far have you guys watched it what are your thoughts there's a lot of controversy about that what else have i watched i have literally finished watching into the night which is about like something to do with the sun and that the sun is killing everyone so they've got it like these group of people are on a plane and they've got to continuously keep traveling west um because obviously when the sun sets it's to the west so they've literally got to continue traveling west around the world and it was quite it's, it's quite a good show actually and then i watched in the lake which is about this virus very now but um it was like the troubles that were going on around the virus that was happening and so forth and then i'm currently watching slasher i don't know if anyone else is watching this i was like i think there's three different seasons three different stories based on like three different murders like there's like a murderer that's going around killing people and you've got to sort of like suss it out who it was i watched the first season i knew from the straight away like from watching all of these like netflix shows i was like yeah i know who exactly who you are boy um and i knew it and then when the end hit and i was like yeah it was you i knew it like just give me inspector ghoul i don't know if, is that is that a thing was that his name inspector what was his name inspector ghoul from inspector calls i studied that at school i don't know if anyone else has read that great great play I'm on to mascara and um, what i tend to do sometimes i tend to like because i know i've got really veiny eyelids and i don't like to be too like i don't want to be too heavy on the eyes so i'll just go back in with that concealer brush that i used the first time around and just buff over and it sort of just adds a tiny bit of coverage without like adding the heaviness um 
But yeah, what kind of content have you guys been enjoying watching recently? I have been a sucker for TikTok. Now, not the dances. I'm so glad that that whole phase is over. Like, I don't really see as many dances anymore. Thank God. I literally just see, like, reaction videos. Like, I see a lot of reaction videos. Like, people reacting to, like, funny things. Or people taking mick out of someone, which I'm not here for. But I'm here for, like, the stuff that's funny. Um, but, yeah, like... If you hear the squeaking, it's literally my chair. But I've literally not been... I've just been binge watching TikTok. I've been loving, like, the story times. I've been loving the... Um, I've been really loving, like, watching people's weight loss journeys and fitness journeys and, like, a day in my life and, like, Instagram video tutorials that are around TikTok. I love it. I think it's definitely something that has evolved. Um, but I like seeing how... You know, like, the first one TikTok started was the whole dancing and now it's, like very much about lot, like everyone's personal life and their little tips and tricks and hacks. I'm trying to find my eyelash curlers but they always seem to go missing. I've been finding people's like um, their stories, like their uh, story time videos and I've literally been like, like duetting them, like putting my, doing my makeup while talking like sort of lip syncing their videos and the funniest thing is that I always put in the caption it's not my sound and people generally think that it's my sound when I'm like obviously doing the actual like video out I've stung my eye ouch but yeah I but do you know what's the most funny thing about it is the comment section like the comment section are hilarious like people will comment saying oh does she really do that or is that what life is and I'm just like it's not me who said it um but yeah i just find these videos really funny sorry you know when you hit a spot in your eye and your eye just starts to water don't start but your comment section is like if you need to cheer yourself up just go to my comment section it's hilarious but yeah am i the only one like on videos that i just you know and it's just like a bit cringy you'll go to the comment section because you worry that what you're thinking isn't what everyone else is thinking and then you see everyone else says what you're thinking and you're just like i knew it like i just find it absolutely absolutely hilarious sometimes like the stuff that people come up with on tiktok is just like what plan on bringing out like the like vlogs and that still um i know a lot of people want some more fashion content like just let me know in the description what you guys would want from me because i know i'm not like i don't really have too many experiences and stories to tell you guys and whatnot but i will be doing like vlogs at like, day in my life stuff more chit chatty videos could be about particular topic topics could be like questions about me it could be assumptions unpopular opinions just let me know in the description and i'll be more than happy to like put it down in my diary and then actually film it but i am trying to like find a schedule now like i'm trying to find a schedule where i've got my paid work done throughout the week i have got um my youtube videos done because i have taken a little bit of a break from youtube not for any reason just for laziness like i'm gonna be honest like i know loads of people like do this whole i'm taking a break from youtube because of xyz they have a valid reason i don't have a valid reason i'm sorry and to those that say i talk really fast i am so sorry it is literally just how i talk and um, a lot of my friends will say that as well and i'm just i'm not apologetic about it no i am but i'm not at the same time i apologize that you i don't know am i apologizing <laughs> that sounds so weird but yeah i apologize that i speak too fast but then i'm not apologizing for speaking too fast i get it but i don't get it see what i mean he's one of my favorite mascaras now i know i say favorite favorite is one of those things that you've been using for a while but this i haven't been using for a while but it does something to my lashes that no other mascara has ever done like this is the urban decay lash freak again i'm going to link everything in the description it's just amazing it has this weird like green thing on the end but it's just so good and it makes my lashes look alive i'm going to get a quick mirror because i'm going to take my little miss piggy mirror i love this mirror it's so cute and um, i'm going to take this and obviously i've curled my lashes now i'm just going to go through and apply my mascara but yeah i do plan on bringing back the vlogs and things like that because i've had dear friends of mine aka samina if you're watching you look at it look i'm sorry i'm sorry i don't have any lashes but right now i do and I love them and I'm going to name each and every single lash. But I, I'm sorry. That's great, isn't it? Like I literally don't. I literally wear eyelashes all the time. And I am not a mascara person. Like I'll sometimes skip mascara. But look at that, man. Like, oh. It just, I know it's not, I don't want the whole volume, volume thing. But it just, to actually make an appearance on my face is a huge thing. So I'm just so, I've got to be careful with this eye because this eye, I poke my, end up poking my eye out. You guys never ever see me recommend like mascaras on my Instagram, but this is something I generally just recommend like 
and then on the end of it, it has like this ball that you can actually just use for your uh, lower lash line done done simple done of course you can go in with another coat but yeah these are lovely i generally really 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 like this mascara it's so nice like when i first used it i was like oh and then i tried it and i was like what like mascaras i've never really raved about i think you guys know already but this one you need personally in my personal opinion anyway it's next level next level i don't really think i'll find a mascara like this ever again oh highlighter Ugh. a really really lovely highlighter here is the lottie london x layla loves this is really really lovely this is the glazed donut one super nice on the on the on the face it is quite intense so i tend to don't spritz this one i literally just dab it in the places that i'll want it you can go a bit ham of highlighter if you want that wet look i like to add a little bit under the brow because it i don't know what it is but it just in like enhances the whole brow look but yeah i'm just i'm, I'm a bit I'm a bit obsessed with this blush at the moment i think that's what i am like focusing this look on this look looks so much better in person than it does on camera i don't know why it's done that and my head shape boy this is a really really nice lip liner by the way it's the catrice plumping lip liner it doesn't plump personally um in the shade understated cheek chic 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 i don't know it's really nice anyway i quite like it anyway uh does the job i'm gonna go with the nyx butter gloss this is such a nice gloss i've been completely as soon as i got that pr package from nyx i have been absolutely loving their lip products so thank you so much nyx i am in love this is in the shade um creme brulee it's really really nice like pink shade i've just been loving it i've been loving all of their lip products i am like one late asked asked what i'm one late asked person and that's basically like everything done for this makeup look i just wanted to keep it really really simple you know sometimes if i feel as if like the, the contour like the bronzer might be a bit too harsh i'll just go over the powder brush and sort of like sweep it underneath and it'll just clear it up but yeah that's literally everything i know i've been talking about probably absolute rubbish but we move we love we don't love but yeah i have nothing really else to say right now anyway i don't know if this has been at all entertaining but please let me know in the comments because it really does help let me know also what other videos you guys want i know i always ask you guys and i tend i don't ignore you i promise i don't but i just keep forgetting i'm like okay i'm gonna film that today and then i get lazy because your girl procrastinates but yeah thank you so much for watching this if you're currently at this point i'm sorry like i'm generally sorry i feel like i've wasted like however long of your life now but yeah i really really apologize but thank you for watching um i hope you enjoyed this video in some way shape or form i'd love to know and have a little chit chat in the comments if you have any questions anything like that please feel free to comment in the comment section or message me on instagram which is the handset news i try to get through you your, your, your i try to get through you your oh i'm talking again too fast i'm trying to get through all of your dms um so yeah so thank you so much for watching this video i love all of you and i shall see you in my next one